all right guys welcome back to the channel so uh coach austin Egbavon has finally released his 23 man squad uh for the two games that we have this november first against uh Bene republic on the 14th and then on the 18th against rwanda and uh the list uh comes with some shocker you know because actually there's there are some few names here that um that are questionable you know a lot of nigerian fans uh have obviously questioned some of these players especially you know because uh they feel that these players are not consistent with their clubs uh but you know for the most part the names are still very much unchanged for the goalkeeping area standing wabali makes the cut Maduka Okoye and Amas Obasugye. And then for the defend, defend, defensive area, that's where we have uh, one or two changes. Brad is somewhere uh, got the call up who is uh, or who was a doubt, you know, initially because the, the last game that he played with Fenabachi, he was on the receiving end of a, a really uh, hard tackle. And that actually forced him to be substituted from that game. So he, he felt like he was going to be uh, in doubt for this game but good to see him getting you know in the list and then we have uh, Bruno Onyemechi, uh, Kevin Bassi, uh, Gabriel Osho who gets uh, a recall you know after uh, several, mo several months ago when he was uh, called up for the first time I think that was during coach Fini this time uh, in June or, or thereabouts but the younger one was unable to make his debut for the Super Eagles during that period because uh, he had an injury just when he was about to make his debut uh, so he didn't uh, see that one true and now he gets uh, a recall and uh, hopefully he's going to get his debut for this game um, with the likes of uh, you know uh, Semi Ajayi who usually starts games you know when he's called up you might actually see uh, Osho slotting right in into the starting level so there's a huge chance that he gets uh, a cap this uh, this November and then we have Ola Aina, uh, of course, the ever solid Ola Aina from Nottingham Forest. And uh, another inclusion is uh, Victor Collins. Uh, this is actually a home based player who plays for Enugu Rangers as a defender. So he gets uh, the nod to uh, to line up with the guys this month. William Chris Akon completes the defensive players. And then we have uh, the midfield, midfield area, Alex Iwobi, a regular for, for Fulham. Uh, Frank Onyeka, uh, Alassane Yusuf, Rafael Onedika, Wilfred Ndidi, and Fisayo Dele Bashir. And then the forward areas, uh, Umar Sadiq comes back into the squad after several months of missing out. And then we have Victor Boniface, we have uh, Ademola Lukman, and then uh, Victor Osimen uh, also made the the squad. Uh, again, just like that is Isama Osimen. Uh, was initially a doubt because he missed a couple of uh, their trainings in the Galatasaray uh, center. I think he missed back-to-back -back trainings, you know, uh, from last week. He just recently got back into the into the fold and uh, he's looking sharp. And it seems that he's going to uh, play for Galatasaray, you know, soon before the international break. But good to see him in, in the list as usual. And then Kilichi Anacho also makes the list. Moses Samo makes the list. And Samo Chukweze completes the 23 man squad. But again, you know, the list is, is not filled, is not uh, devoid of criticisms. As I mentioned, a lot of players, or one or two, three players in the list have been criticized. For example, Omar Sadiq, you know, uh, a lot of people have criticized his inclusion into the list, uh, considering. That he's not really been having the best of days with uh, rest assured that uh, you know who don't even know that they want to use him or they want to sell him uh, but he's actually been able to make six appearance uh, appearances for the club this season no goals no assists whatsoever and most of the time he usually comes in from the bench and so uh, there isn't much talks about consistency with this man and then uh, also uh, the likes of you know, uh, Alex, uh, no, not Alex, he will be, uh, what's his name again? Uh, the likes of Ian Acho is also someone that people, a lot of Nigerian fans actually didn't expect to see, 
Uh, but the last time he was called up, and then you know, uh, in place of Seredesas and uh, Arukudari. But this time again, he's also been called up. Again, we know he had his first two goals over the midweek last week. Uh, but is this enough to actually uh, see him retain his spot in the, in the, in the squad? But that's uh, what's happening right now. Coach Austin Aguavon has released the list. Uh, let me know what you think about this list. Do you think it's, uh, it's a good list? Of course, you know that we've, we've almost already qualified for the uh, African Cup of Nations 2025. So this game is more or less, uh, these two games are more or less games that then uh, the coach may not really take very serious because what we need from these games, uh, I think the lowest we need is one point, you know, uh, to qualify. So there might be some experiments. For example, maybe Stanley Wabali may sit one of the games out and then uh, Austin Wabali is going to want to uh, future Okoye for once, you know, because he's not been able to feature. Stanley has always been the preferred option. But this game, this game comes, uh, you know, at a point where we have almost already qualified. So uh, it's going to be also an experiment game for uh, the guys. But what do you think generally, guys, about this? That's the updates. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you soon in my next video.